Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Chodoro, for your introduction. And thank you also for helping me fight for the cause of the veterans in the United States. Under Secretary Carolina, uh, President of the Veterans Affairs, uh, of, uh, I'm sorry, Veterans Federation, Colonel De Ocampo, Chairman Diaz of the Veterans Affairs Committee, and we have here uh, Congresswoman Antonino uh, uh, Roman and uh, her husband Antonino Roman, Congresswoman Erminia Roman and her husband, former Congressman Roman, and uh, Congressman Roman Romulo, panay Roman tayo dito, uh, and Congressman Dodo Mandanas, uh, General Ibrado, and the other members of the Armed Forces, our dear veterans, our sons and daughters of the veterans, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Una sa lahat, binabati ko ang mga veteranong narito ngayon. Kasi gusto kong ulitin na kinikilala ng buong sambayanan na malaking karangalan ang inyong binigay sa ating bansa. Kaya karangalan ko ngayon na makasama kayo. Kayo ang mga bayaning nagtanggol sa kalayaan ng ating bayan at ng buong mundo. Dahil sa matinding pagtatanggol ninyo sa bataan at ipapambahagi ng Pilipinas, nung yung mga kalaban ay pumunta rito, natagalan yung gera dito, hindi nakapunta sa ibang mga lugar, napupunta ang panila pagkatapos. Kaya you save not only the Philippines, but the whole world. At naalala ko kayo, kahit na nung ako ay nasa Africa, kung saan ako nanggaling. Why? Because Africa today, means so much to our peace and stability. The peace and stability of Africa means so much to our energy security, but more importantly, the safety and welfare of many of our overseas Filipinos, including our seafarers. And on our part, like you during the Second World War, contributing to the safety of the whole world, we also are an important contributor to peace and stability on the African continent. Because we have hundreds of Filipino soldiers and policemen in different United Nations missions in Africa, including Darfur in Sudan and Cote d'Ivoire. And these were very important conflicts that were discussed during the African summit on conflict resolution that I just attended. Our soldiers and policemen in Africa are helping to preserve peace and they are a tribute to the professionalism and dedication of our men and women in uniform. They are our nation's investment in global peace and they are your heirs, your spiritual heirs. They continue your tradition of courage for the cause of freedom. And I know that their sacrifice in Africa it's not a sacrifice joyfully born. It is work where it can be found in, a far away, in far away places among strangers with different cultures and it is very lonely to be there in those distant outposts of the world. Kaya, nagsisikap tayong lumikha dito sa atin ng mga trabaho maganda so that overseas work will just be a career option and not the op only option for a Filipino. And one of the things we try to do to be able to create good jobs here in the Philippines is to develop our FIVIDEC industrial estate. So for instance, I was asking Colonel De Ocampo, how is FIVIDEC, of which he is the chairman representing the veterans? And he said, it's okay, doing fine, thanks to the support of the national government. And we are hoping that very soon, uh, actually they've already started to put up a trading center Hanjin, which has a major project, a billion dollar project in Subic and Bataan and Zambales, will do its even bigger billion dollar plus expansion in the Fividic area of Misamis Oriental. Hindi ako nag-atubiling bisitahin ng ating taong bayan at kanilang mga host sa buong mundo. 
mula Africa hanggang American Midwest na yun ang hometown ni President Obama. Nakikinig sa mga problema ng ating mga Pilipino, mga, mga pangangailangan ng ating mga Pilipino doon at inaalam kung paano sila matutulungan ng ating pamalaan by working out better policies on migrant labor, for instance. Halimbawa sa Libya, iniwanan ko doon nung ako ay umuwi kagawe si Secretary Nitoy Roque para mabuo niya yung kanyang labor agreement doon sa Ministry of Labor ng Libya. Another thing we do is to save lives and restore liberty. Yung mga ati mga manggagawa, kasi kung by the law of average, if we have 8 million people abroad, siguro naman may ilang manggaga, mag, magkakaroon ng problema sa batas. At meron mga bansa na may death penalty. Yun ay malaking napapakiusap natin na kung hindi tayo pumupunta doon at personal na uh, humihingi ng pabor sa mga pinuno nila, ay marami doon ay nagkaroon na ng kanilang execution ng death penalty. Our vigorous international engagement has also brought in foreign investments. Kaya tignan naman nyo itong mga investments na pumasok sa ating administrasyon. Fifteen times over what we started with at kasama ng ating mga overseas Filipinos, eto mga investments natin ay nagdoble tuloy ang ating foreign exchange at pinalakas ang ating piso at naiiwasan ang lubhang pagtaas ng presyo. In fact, our inflation rate is the lowest today in many, many years. At sa gitna ng ating global recession, na-upgrade pa ang ating credit rating. Kaya habang yung ating mga kapaligiran, bansa, ay bumababa ang kanilang foreign exchange reserves over the past years, yung atin naman ay lumalaki by $3 billion. At kahit na two-thirds ng mundo ay nasa recession during the last 12 months, tayo, 34 quarters of uninterrupted growth, yun ang ating nararanasan sa Pilipinas. Pero yung global engagement natin ay hindi lamang para sa kapayapaan, hindi lamang para sa investment. It has also corrected historical injustice. Gaya nga nang sabi ni Colonel De Ocampo, hindi pa ako pangulo. Ay, pag pumupunta ako sa Amerika, parating bahagi ng aking agenda ay yung veterans' rights. From the beginning. And I was so happy that last February, the day that we visited Washington, Senator Daniel Inoue, Chairman of the Senate Committee on uh, Appropriations, sponsored the benefits for our veterans as part of America's stimulus package. Mabuti sinabi nga ni uh, Undersecretary Carolina, nandiyan yung language nung... Um, nung nasa batas mismo na provision that recognizes our veterans. Siguro para meron siyang kapareha, I will also give you what Senator Inouye gave me. What he said when he defended the veterans' provisions. But let me tell you what he said verbally first. He said, on January 26, 1941, the President of the U.S., Mr. Roosevelt, issued a military order to General MacArthur calling upon Filipinos to volunteer in the Army, to serve in the Navy, to serve in the Air Force, because the President sensed correctly that there was much instability and violence in Asia. He felt the time had come for the U.S. to be prepared for any eventuality. As a result of that call, 470,000 Filipinos stepped forward and volunteered to serve in the military under the command of General MacArthur.